Hey everyone, welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to focus on menu design. I'm going to show you how to use the paragraph rules feature as well as creating paragraph styles. This is going to save you a ton of time when you're designing menus. So menu design doesn't have to be daunting. It's actually a very important uh, piece of brand identity for restaurants. So as a restaurant owner, this is something that you definitely don't want to cheap out on. I've been to restaurants and while people will open up a menu, they'll, they'll look at the food and what they want to order. But as a designer, as someone that kind of nitpicks at things such as typography and alignment, these are things that I look for. And I can tell when, when a restaurant goes the extra mile to, to make things clean and look more professional rather than scattered. And that's important because when you're a customer going into a restaurant, it could leave, leave an, uh, a lasting impression. So today I'm gonna take you through how to uh, do a couple things, including tabbing as well. I'm basically working on a, I'll just go to show you the document I'm setting on. So if I go to file document setup, um, again, I'm working on an A4, um, make sure facing pages is it's off unless you want it to be on. Um, and I also set up guides. I'll have to show you that in my, uh, let me show, let me put on my, put on my guides here. So I set up guides that are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six rows, and then just two columns. Because as you can see on my, my screen here, I want this to be a two column layout. Okay, so let's get started. This is for a fictional uh, plant-based restaurant that I just made up as well, called Plantiful. Came up with all the uh, items. So if you, if even if you want to practice, go ahead, take the time, and come up with items. Um, if you're interested, I can send you this this stuff. Um, but by all means, so let's just say that that's the finished product, and here is the rough um, the rough start here. Okay, so. I basically am going to show you how to format the the menu head headers. So these will be what you see up top here. If I just go back up top, appetizers, sandwiches, wraps, and main courses. And then we'll get into how to tab um, the, the food items as well as the price. So let's get started, okay? So the first thing I wanna do, and we take my guides off again for now, I'm gonna highlight, I'm just gonna do a soft return there or even a return. I'm gonna highlight appetizers and the, the font or typeface that I'm using in this case um, is called letterpress script. I'm gonna make it 20 point, uh, even 24 is fine. Okay, and then I've set up a custom color here, this Pantone green, so I'm gonna make it that. Okay, so I've already set that up. So I've, I've changed it to letterpress, I've changed the color and the point size. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight it and this is where I'm gonna show you how to work with um, paragraph rules. So if I go Option Command J on a Mac, I guess that would be Alt Control J on a PC. This is another way of adding rules. I could draw in a rule and change the formatting that way. But this is a secondary way of um, using rules without having to go to the line tool and draw them in physically that way, okay? So here under the drop down, I can add a rule above appetizers or rule below. In this case, I wanna, I wanna keep it below. So I'm gonna check this and say rule on. And now the line is sitting pretty snug to the word appetizers. And I wanna change that so let's do this first. I'm going to change the weight of it to three. Let's just start there. I don't want the type to be just a solid line. So go ahead and uh, with your type drop down, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna use the maybe right, um, right slant hash, okay? And then I guess you could have changed the text color here, but I did that in advance. Either way works. 
And um, I also want to change the width of that line to fit with the text and not the column. But that's based on your preference. If you want it to span across the entire column, then leave it at column. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna select text, and because it's so close to my word there, I'm gonna have to play with the offset. Um, so I'm gonna maybe see what works here. I'm happy with 0 0.125 inches for the offset, and that would be it. So once you have that, I would hit OK. And the cool thing about this is regardless of the word that I type, if you don't want the word appetizers and you wanted the word starters, that line forms with whatever word or words you're typing. But in this case, I do want appetizers. I'm also going to center this. Shift Command C or use your uh, center alignment up here. So that's set. I've I've changed the the font. I've changed the color. I've added this um, paragraph rule. I've centered it. Now I'm going to select it, and I want to save this formatting so I don't have to do it again. So I'm going to go to my paragraph styles here. If you don't have paragraph styles, they're up in window styles, paragraph styles. Now I've already set up a couple here, but I'm gonna create a new one to show you the process. I'm gonna call this menu header, but in this case, I'm gonna call it menu header two. Down below, create new, new um, style. Go ahead and click that. It comes in as paragraph style one, so double click it to rename it something else. So I'll call it header, menu header two. Okay, and that would be it, so I'm gonna hit OK. If at any point you need to change any part of that for formatting, this is a good way to do it. So you would just double click that and go to basic character formats. You can change the typeface, the size, the lighting, all that. But I'm okay with where we're at, so that's it. So there it is, menu header two. So if I go down to sandwiches and wraps, you can just put your cursor there and then hit menu menu header two, and there it is. So I would just have to uh, do a return or a soft return. Now, the thing about, I'm showing you everything in one text frame. Personally, I like the flexibility of keeping my headers as separate text frames. It gives you the flexibility of moving it around rather than highlighting it and you know baseline shifting it. I think being in a separate text frame is better, but in this case, for this tutorial, I'm just keeping everything in the same text frame. Okay, so now that we've done that, let me zoom out and we can do, oops. We'll just go up to main courses and apply that same one, okay? And then just do a couple uh, paragraph returns there, okay? So that, depending on how many of these section headers, I mean, some menus could be three, four, or five pages. Doing that one step would save you a lot of time in the pro in that process, okay? So let's do this now. Falafel Bites, okay? So Falafel Bites, what I'm gonna do, just wanna make sure. First thing I wanna do is I wanna select the price and the food item, Falafel Bites. And I'm working with Helvetica uh, uh, Noi, or New. And that typeface is applied to all the body text. But I just want to format the food items and the price. So I'm going to, in the same font family, select bold. And I do want to put my cursor in between and apply a single tab. So on your keyboard, just hit tab, okay? I'm still gonna highlight it now. Let me just zoom out just a little bit. I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna go up to type and tabs or shift command T. I like putting this dialog box over the area that I'm working on um, only because it, it it works well and it shows you kind of in a ballpark where, um, where the tab will be. If this was down below or to the side, it could get a little confusing. So what I do is I put it right above like so. And you have different justifications here for the tab. I leave it, for this instance, I'll leave it as ju uh, left justified. 
And when you're applying the tab, make sure that you apply it on this little gray uh, bar just above the rule. So if I just click anywhere in that little gray bar, like so, I'm gonna apply this tab with quite a, quite a bit of distance between because some in some instances, the food item will be a little bit longer, the name will be longer. So giving yourself a little bit of space at the start, you can always backtrack afterwards. In the leader here, I'm just gonna put a single period and then hit tab again, and you see what happened there. Now there's a, um, a leader, a dotted line leader that goes from the, the, the food item right to the price. So once you've applied that, go ahead and go ahead and get out of that. Oops. Okay, so now I would just highlight this. Let me just highlight this, okay? And apply the same paragraph style. Go back to your paragraph styles and let's create a new paragraph style. And we'll call this one food item two. What did I call that first one there? I guess that doesn't matter. I called it uh, menu item. Let's call it menu item two. Okay. Again, if you needed to change any formats for font and whatnot, you could do that here. You could also apply the different tab on this end. But I think for this, I think I'm good. So menu item two, hit okay. Now if I click the second one, tacos, again, I'm just gonna apply a tab in between and then let's do menu item two. And there you go, it applies the same menu item. You just have to make sure that there's a tab when you're doing it. Otherwise, it won't apply that tab, right? See? So you gotta put your cursor in there and hit tab. And then nachos, I didn't have a price there. So you could actually go throughout and apply those tabs to any of these. Menu item two, okay? Menu item two. So you get the idea there and how quickly um, setting up one formatting um, example like that will save you a ton of time on menu design. Some menu designs will only be, you know, even if it's just a lunch menu that has about 10 items, you know, even that, you don't wanna keep doing the same process throughout. You wanna make sure that your paragraph styles are all set up here, okay? So I think that was it for today's tutorial. So I showed you how to easy apply, easily apply par paragraph rules and then create that as a paragraph style. And then tabbing your food items is also important as well. And formatting it, that into a paragraph style. And then you would have something like this. Okay, so it does take a little time, a little bit of effort, but uh, in the end, a clean menu design, um, it, it, it just comes out a lot cleaner than, than you know if you were just doing it free form. So take the time to set up paragraph styles and it'll be worth it in the end. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.